All right, boys, what is going on with 2021, man? Honestly, I don't know. I mean, for goodness sakes, gas prices are higher than they usually are. Little bites don't hit as much as they used to. And Dr. Philbert McGraw is now the bad guy. What is going on with this world? My best guess is that 2021 is basically over now and we should all just give up. So if you're kind of wondering about that last part that I said, well, basically what's happening now is that the Catch Me Outside girl, aka Danielle Brigoli, recently broke her silence in an eight minute video titled Breaking Code Silence, where she exposes Turnabout Ranch. Now, if you don't know what Turnabout Ranch is, and if you're kind of new to Dr. Phil, it's kind of the place where Dr. Phil will send you if you're a really, really bad guest, or kid, I should say. Because, I mean, you have people, like, who disrespect their parents, you know, carry weapons, are in gangs, you know, people like that, they go to Turnabout Ranch in hopes of, basically, like the name implies, turning around your life on a ranch. It's not that hard to understand. And you know, in my many, many, many years of watching Dr. Phil, you know, I've always heard about Turnabout Ranch, and I always thought that it was a really good place to send your kids. I mean, if you have kids that are really disrespectful, then, you know, you send them to Turnabout Ranch. You know, if they're giving you a hard time, Turnabout Ranch. If they're eating things off the counter that they shouldn't, Turnabout Ranch. You know, it's always that solution. But apparently, it's not so good of a place because Danielle Brigoli actually exposes a number of things that her and a whole bunch of other students, or kids rather, were subjected to and it's pretty messed up so we will be looking at this video that she posted I think about a day ago and truly getting to see how evil Dr. Phil is for sending her to this village or whatever it's called and how bad the actual program is so without further ado pa -pa 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 -pa, play the video I was 13 years old when I went to Turnabout Ranch I feel like it's very important for me to speak on this because I kept my mouth shut for so long I did touch on it a couple times in different situations but I really want to get my whole story out there and let everything just be out because that's the thing with these places is you have no evidence you don't have a phone there they don't have cameras there like there's no evidence of none of this and obviously all the staff is in on it so they're not gonna snitch on each other all you really have is the the kids that are there all right so clearly from that like 32 second clip you can tell like this is going to be a serious video but i will say this having no phones in a situation like this where you send bad kids to a facility or area to turn their life around basically and with no parental supervision you know the parents aren't going to come pick them up because i mean it's literally miles away from where most people live on top of that like i was saying before like having your phone in situations where you're not in close proximity to your parents or anything like that is just pretty dangerous and irresponsible in my opinion. But there are some good and bads to the whole thing. Like for instance, you're not gonna be on your phone the whole time you're there trying to change your life, obviously, because I mean, that just defeats the point. But the good thing about it is obviously communication to your parents and you know, to authorities if need be and other things like that. It's basically the same thing as like school. I mean, we need our phones clearly, but in order to do work efficient, we shouldn't have them out all hours of the day and then another thing is that the people aren't there snitching on each other because they're just trying to collect that bag you know what i'm saying and it might be protocol over there for them not to snitch or kind of like a secret protocol which in that case i mean dr phil is kind of like irresponsible in that situation especially for sending oh i don't know hundreds of kids to the same location to have the same things done to them in different ways it's honestly just bad Somewhere in the middle of August, I went I went on the Dr. Phil show, and my mom and my grandma knew they were sending me here. I didn't know I was going. I went school shopping right before, because school was supposed to start when I got home from LA from doing the show. So part of the whole Dr. Phil show is they send these kids to either Turnabout or these other programs that are also in Utah, but they're all wilderness programs, and they're all fucked up. You want to know something I find really, really, really annoying? It's when women with extremely long, fake acrylic nails start clapping their hands or their fingers together like they start moving them around and they start making that stupid sound it's almost as annoying as scraping a fork across a chalkboard like seriously i can't take that but while we're on the topic of nails goodness gracious look at them nails i don't know whether to be offended surprised or in admiration or all three because i mean those things are literally built for catching your attention those are like the sirens on the police car and in the same color too <laughs> Okay, so Turnabout is in the middle of Escalante, Utah. It's a very, 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 very small town. It's got one gas station, one one grocery store. Everybody knows everybody there. You see you're in the middle of nowhere. You know there's nowhere to run. If you try to run out there, you're either, they're gonna find you, you're gonna get in more trouble, or you're, if you do get away, you're gonna get eaten by a coyote or something. All right, so first things first, you're out in the boonies of Utah, okay? I mean, I don't know where Escalante, Utah is. If you're from Escalante, Utah, 
I don't know, you probably do incest or whatever. And then the second thing, hold on, hold on, the second thing. She said if you try to escape, then you're going to get eaten by a coyote or you're going to get caught. First off, all right, hold on. First off, you know what I'm saying? Because I know animals. They call me the young black Steve Irwin. Instead of brave wilderness, it's brave in the hood but yeah if you get eaten by a coyote then you could take that l all the way up to heaven because you know they're gonna be laughing at you on your way up there took in there against my will they give you transporters um transporters are two people a male and a female that come in in the middle of the night they don't tell them where they're going they just take them they handcuff them they put them in the car it's basically like kidnapping we got there i got out of the car and i just seen it was like it looked like, like nothing it was just super dark i seen like all the circles and stuff and i seen the little cabin and i was like oh Oh shit, I'm not built for this. You see, this is why I like Danielle, you know? She realizes what a lot of other people don't really realize, especially the people I talk to, and that is they're not built for a lot of things that life throws at them. In other words, they're not built different. And another thing is like, whoa, the way she described everything, like it was pitch black, she seen circles and everything, sound like she was playing Outlast too. So for the first three days you're there, there's no showering. They put you in a circle, which is a, it's a TP. It's a little TP, but it's open. And you have to sit there for three days. They wouldn't let me lay down for nothing. Like I was falling asleep and they were like, uh-uh, get up, get up. So I'm just sitting here like, Man, and I would have been like, you ain't gonna do that to me. After all you've been through, you know what I'm saying? You going off of a multiple hour drive on top of a multiple hour flight, and then you just arriving somewhere in Outlast 2 to go sit in a teepee? You best believe I'm going to sleep, man. On top of that, Danielle Brigoli, you know for a fact, the reason why you're there in the first place is because you love to pop off on people, especially your moms. So why not do that to them? Especially if they're trying to wake you up. I would have done that. This is gonna be really bad. When I seen these people have no sympathy, I was like, oh, I'm really, like, I'm really doomed. They strip you. They what? You from your whole personality. Oh, okay. You have to act like just whoever they want you to act like. They told me, okay, these are what your chores are gonna be. I don't remember what they were, but they were like, these are what your chores are gonna be. This is what you're gonna be doing. Here's your level one binder. You do the same thing every day, chop wood, take care of the animals. This place is all about taking away privileges. Like, okay, yeah, the phone is a privilege, TV, like all that. But they take away like necessity privileges, like sleeping on a bed, eating good food, not being cold. All right, so it's pretty clear from the clips that I just played that Danielle kind of went through a lot even from the start. And there was even a story about some guy getting killed over there and then being punished for it. I'm not gonna show the entire video, but if you guys wanna check it out, if you haven't seen it already, link in the description below. I know I haven't been actually linking the things that I get my information from. You know, I've noticed that a little bit, even though nobody's really called it out. It still kind of irks me whenever I go look back at a video. So I promise this time, if you look in the description, the video will be there. But regardless, guys, I'm going to end it here. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. And if you really want more content similar to this, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.